Hi, I'm Mark Ollis, and today I'm going to give you a topic that's probably going to make you happy because I'm going to tell you why sweeping, mopping, and vacuuming those household tasks are extremely hard on your back. So if you've been doing those and thinking, oh my god, my back hurts so bad after I do those, there's a good reason for this, and I'm going to tell you why. Unfortunately, I'm also going to give you the lack of an excuse for um, getting out of them because I'm going to tell you some simple ways to help keep from causing as much pain while you're performing these activities. So what you have to remember with the spine is, it's obviously oriented in the center of my back. Now if I'm pro providing or performing a task, like say vacuuming, I'm vacuuming out here, so I'm applying a force that's located a good probably foot and a half, maybe even two feet away from my body. What this does is it creates a long lever arm for torque, so I'm pushing out here. And even though the vacuum or the broom or whatever, it might not be particularly heavy, the fact is that longer lever arm does increase the amount of force. You know, we all know going back to the seesaw and the fulcrum and the fact is, you know, I can lift an extremely big weight utilizing that leverage system. Well, this leverage system in the body's case is working against you. And so the farther away from my spine I get, the greater the amount of force I'm applying with my lever and therefore it takes less stress to gen generate a large force on my spine. So the same is true if I'm lifting or pushing. If I'm up above and I'm pushing something, my, my point of force is here, my fulcrum or axis is way down on my low back, that's a long distance, long lever arm, big trouble lifting stuff off the ground, same thing. The farther I get away from my center of gravity, in any direction, up, down, or side, I'm going to start applying large forces to the spine, and this is going to put me in high danger. So what can I do to mitigate these forces? Well, I can make sure I direct all my forces toward the center. Now, I know this is extremely impractical and would drive you crazy trying to, trying to vacuum your whole house, but if you are vacuuming like this, just straight with the vacuum straight in front of you, you will help your spine tremendously because now there's no rotational torque motion. It's all directed in the spine. You'll do tons better. If you do have to push or pull something, get a ladder so that you can be pushing and pulling in this plane instead of up in this plane. Um, sweeping and stuff, just try and remember to utilize a motion that you're not getting a big rotational component. If you can keep yourself immobile here, it will help to reduce again rotational forces. Also remember, even though these activities don't necessarily involve large weights, they do involve large repetition. And I always use an example of what happens when you take a piece of wire and you go back and forth. Well, eventually it breaks. Now your spine's not going to break. But the same principle is true. If I'm doing something repetitively and I keep doing it, I'm going to put some stress and strain on some tissues that I don't want. So if I can do things without getting any of that rotational component, I will greatly reduce stress and greatly reduce the pain. So I hope this helps to explain why you might be having pain and I hope this provides you a means by which you can help reduce it, but still keep the house clean. Thanks.